it's been a while since I made a archetype video about DMT visuals and things that are commonly occurring between different people. And this one came out of a trip report that I made a while back when I was talking about tube-like structures. So I, I drew this like noodle-armed kind of tube guy that was really long and, and part of a specific scenery. But in that video, I had a, a few people said that they also saw tube-like structures in their trips, and they called them, one guy called it a slinky, I think. So I thought that was pretty funny, and I was actually going to make a video based on just that. I wouldn't really even call that evidence. I would just call, you know, people coming and saying that they've seen similar things. But then I, I recently, in that time, came by a DMT nexus, uh, I think it was a, just a thread, and someone was talking about these tube-like structures as well, and I thought that was really interesting. And there was a lot of replies about what other people were seeing as well, and they seemed to agree that this was a, a common occurrence for them. So I just want to read the first thing that the, the topic poster did, and I'll go from there. He said, I have found that the visuals during trips have become very consistent with a few main themes. The goal of, of posting this is to see how many others can relate. So one, colorful, highly detailed tube-like constructs with what I call bouncy pill people. These entities seem to, to playfully bounce around and change shape and color, but they're always shaped very smoothly, and they remind me of pills. So this is pretty much what I've experienced too when, when I would try to describe these sort of pill entity humanoid things. They're usually really long and they have kind of striped color but they're always smooth. And one artist that uh, a person posted saying that, that it's what they look like is called Insetagris. And I think this artist is really amazing for capturing the DMT tube-like structures, and some of his depictions are scar scarily DMT-like, especially the ones with the hieroglyphs and stuff. I, I thought it was really interesting that this person was able to capture those images, and that we're all sharing these specific things. So, I don't really know the implications of anything of, of, of what this means, but I, I think it's really interesting if, you know, artists want to depict this realm to sort of you know, if we keep track of all these archetypes, it will probably make us easier for, e make it easier for us to better relate to people's experiences with the art that we're making. 